Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button right now. Your participation is crucial in spreading God's word. Additionally, if this message touches your heart, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Now let's move on to our reflection for today. Our theme is Renewing Your Mind Through Christ, based on Romans 12 verse 2, which says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. We live in a world that constantly tries to shape our thoughts, beliefs, and values. The media, popular culture, and even people close to us can influence how we think and act. But as followers of Christ, we are called to a profound transformation, a renewal of the mind that allows us to discern and live out God's will. But what does it really mean to renew our minds? Imagine for a moment that your mind is like a garden. A neglected garden soon fills with weeds, doesn't it? Similarly, if we don't actively take care of our thoughts, we soon find ourselves dominated by worries, fears, and thought patterns that don't please God. Renewing the mind is like tending to that garden. It's a constant process of pulling out the weeds, the negative thoughts, and those contrary to God's will, and planting seeds of truth, love, and faith. It's a daily work of cultivating thoughts that reflect Christ's character. Paul warns us not to conform to the pattern of this world. But what does that mean in practice? It means resisting the temptation to adopt values and behaviors that contradict Jesus' teachings. For example, the world might tell us that success is measured by material wealth or social status. But God's Word teaches us that true success lies in loving God and our neighbor, in living a life of integrity and service. The transformation through the renewal of the mind doesn't happen overnight. It's an ongoing process that requires intentionality and discipline. We need to be willing to examine our thoughts and attitudes, comparing them with God's Word. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, we are instructed to demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. One of the most powerful ways to renew our mind is through meditation on God's Word. Psalm 1 verse 2 speaks of the blessed man whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. When we fill our mind with the truths of Scripture, we begin to see the world through God's lens. Another fundamental practice for renewing the mind is prayer. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Paul encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer not only connects us with God, but also helps us align our thoughts with His. Renewing the mind also involves a change in our perspective on life circumstances. Instead of focusing only on what is visible and temporary, we are called to fix our eyes on what is invisible and eternal as stated in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 18. This means cultivating an eternity mindset, recognizing that our present struggles are opportunities for growth and that our final destination is secure in Christ. A crucial aspect of renewing the mind is repentance. The Greek word for repentance, metanoia, literally means change of mind. When we repent, we're not just asking for forgiveness, but also committing to change our way of thinking and acting. It's a process of continuous alignment with God's will. As we renew our mind, we begin to experience the transformation that Paul mentions. This transformation is not superficial, but deep and lasting. It affects every aspect of our life, our relationships, our decisions, our priorities. We begin to see people and situations as God sees them. We develop a sharper discernment, able to distinguish between good and evil, between what is merely good and what is truly better. A renewed mind empowers us to test and approve what God's will is, His good, 
pleasing and perfect will. This doesn't mean we'll always know exactly what God wants in every situation, but we'll have a clearer understanding of His character and His purposes. We'll be able to make decisions aligned with His principles, confident that we're walking in His will. It's important to remember that renewing the mind is not a purely intellectual exercise. It involves our entire being, heart, soul, and strength. In Proverbs 4, 23, we are advised, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Our thoughts affect our emotions and actions, and vice versa. Therefore, the renewal of the mind must be accompanied by a transformation of the heart. One of the challenges we face in this process of renewal is dealing with negative and self-destructive thoughts. Many of us struggle with anxiety, fear, depression, or low self-esteem. The good news is that in Christ, we have the tools to combat these thought patterns. In 2 Corinthians 10-5, we are instructed to take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. This means we can actively choose to reject thoughts that contradict God's truth and replace them with thoughts aligned with His Word. For example, when we're tempted to think we're unworthy or incapable, we can remember that we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Ephesians 2-10 When fear threatens to paralyze us, we can cling to the promise that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 7 Renewing the mind also empowers us to deal with life's challenges and sufferings in a way that glorifies God. In Romans 5-3-5, Paul encourages us, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. A renewed mind allows us to see difficulties not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and testimony. It allows us to maintain peace in the midst of the storm, confident that God is in control and is working all things for the good of those who love Him. Romans chapter 8-28 Another important aspect of renewing the mind is developing a mindset of gratitude. In 1 Thessalonians 5-18, we are instructed to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. A grateful mind is a renewed mind, capable of recognizing God's blessings even in the midst of difficulties. As we renew our mind, we are also called to positively influence those around us. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 14, Jesus calls us the salt of the earth and the light of the world. A renewed mind allows us to be agents of transformation in our society, bringing the perspective of God's kingdom to everyday situations. This may mean challenging ideas and practices that contradict kingdom values, but always with love and grace. It may mean offering hope to a desperate world, compassion to the marginalized, and forgiveness to those who offend us. A renewed mind empowers us to live in a countercultural way, not out of rebellion, but out of obedience to a higher calling. It's crucial to understand that the renewal of the mind is not something we accomplish by our own strength. It's a work of the Holy Spirit in us. In Titus chapter 3, verse 5, we read that God saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Our part is to cooperate with the Spirit, submitting ourselves to His transforming work in our lives. Chin. As we conclude our reflection on renewing the mind through Christ, I want to encourage you to embrace this process of transformation. Don't settle for a superficial faith or external conformity. Seek a deep and constant renewal, allowing God's Word and the power of the Holy Spirit to shape your thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Remember, this is an ongoing process. There will be days of victory and days of struggle. But we can be confident that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. 
Keep persevering, keep seeking, keep surrendering to God's transforming work in your life. May we, individually and collectively, experience the renewal of the mind that allows us to discern and live out God's good, pleasing, and perfect will. May our lives be a living testimony to the transforming power of Christ, drawing others to the truth and freedom found in Him. Now, let's delve deeper into some practical ways we can actively participate in the renewal of our minds. One powerful tool for renewing our mind is memorizing Scripture. When we commit God's Word to memory, we're equipping ourselves with truth that can combat lies and negative thought patterns. Start small, perhaps with a verse a week, and gradually build your arsenal of Scripture. Some great verses to start with might include Philippians 4.8, Romans 8.28 or Jeremiah 29.11. Practice being aware of your thoughts throughout the day. When you catch yourself thinking in ways that don't align with God's truth, consciously redirect your thoughts. This might feel awkward at first, but with practice, it becomes more natural. You might even consider keeping a thought journal to track patterns in your thinking. Be intentional about what you allow into your mind. This includes the media you consume, the music you listen to, and the people you spend time with. Seek out resources that reinforce biblical truth, whether that's through Christian books, podcasts, or fellowship with other believers. Start and end each day by listing things you're thankful for. This simple practice can dramatically shift your perspective and help you focus on God's blessings rather than life's challenges. Engaging in acts of service can help shift our focus from our own concerns to the needs of others, aligning our minds more closely with Christ's heart for people. Set aside time regularly, perhaps weekly or monthly, to prayerfully examine your thought life. Are there areas where you're still conforming to the world's patterns? Are there truths you're struggling to believe? Bring these before God and seek His help in renewing your mind in these areas. Consider finding a trusted friend or mentor who can hold you accountable in your journey of mind renewal. Share your struggles and victories with them and allow them to speak truth into your life. Periodically, it can be helpful to fast from influences that may be hindering the renewal of your mind. This might mean taking a break from social media, news, or other sources that tend to provoke anxiety or negative thinking. Throughout your day, consciously remind yourself of God's presence. This can help maintain a kingdom perspective even in mundane or challenging situations. Sometimes, engaging in creative activities like journaling, art, or music can help us process our thoughts and emotions in a way that leads to renewal. Use these as opportunities to express your faith and work through your thought patterns. Remember, the renewal of your mind is not about achieving perfection, but about progress. It's about gradually aligning your thoughts more and more with God's truth. There will be setbacks and struggles along the way, but don't be discouraged. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. As you embark on this journey of mind renewal, you may find that certain areas of your life begin to change. You might notice improved relationships as you learn to see others through God's eyes. You may find yourself handling stress and adversity with greater peace and resilience. Your decision-making process might become clearer as you gain discernment. Moreover, as your mind is renewed, you may find yourself more effective in sharing your faith with others. A transformed mind leads to a transformed life, which is a powerful testimony to the reality of Christ. People may begin to notice something different about you, a peace, joy, or wisdom that stands out in our often chaotic world. Remember, too, that the renewal of your mind is not just for your own benefit. As you are transformed, you become better equipped to fulfill God's purposes for your life. You become a more effective instrument in His hands, able to impact your family, your workplace, and your community for His kingdom. In closing, I want to emphasize once again that this process of renewing your mind is a lifelong journey. It's not about reaching a destination, but about continually growing closer to Christ and becoming more like Him. Embrace this journey with patience, perseverance, and above all, reliance on God's grace. As we end our time together, I'd like to remind you once again of the importance of engaging with our channel. 
If this message has touched your heart, please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation not only encourages us, but also helps spread this message to more people who may need to hear it. And if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to receive more inspiring content like this. May God richly bless each one of you. Until the next video.